Hi there, this is Say With Crypto. Okay, so my video the other day, the, uh, the freeway one, seems to have stirred up a few um, emotions, if you like. Uh, so, first of all, to keep me interested, please give this video a like right now. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and uh, tick the notification bell so you'll get updated. Anyway, uh, amongst these comments, uh, this one was interesting, gotcha first, who said, I've asked this numerous times on different freeway vids. Let's see what the answer Let's see what answer I get here. Have you ever tried to cash out at any time? Okay, is that your question? Uh, right, the answer to that is no, uh, but I'm going to. Right, numbers on the computer look great, but at the end of the day, they are just numbers. If you're going to shill a financial product where everyone could possibly get financially wrecked, um, I'm not intentionally sh shilling a product. All I'm doing is saying, this is what I'm using. And if you want to use it as well, use my link and it benefits you and me as well. Uh, I'm not specifically shilling it and you know you've got to make you've got to do your own research and make your own decisions anyway uh, I think it would be wise to show a return trip video from depositing staking then after a month sending it back to your personal account okay that's what I'm going to do now that would be a great video my friend I see all these youtubers shilling for freeway and at the end of the video they leave their code to recruit people so that they get their extra two percent rewards okay uh, well, when you've got your own freeware account, you can do that as well. Uh, but when asked technical questions, they haven't a clue. It just blows my mind. But hey, not financial advice. Right. OK. Right. Um, I am planning on doing this interview with Graham Dogger. I've been in touch with Freeway uh, and I am planning it. I'm, I'm really trying to focus my questions and get them really good. So which is why I set up this page on savethecrypto.org slash freeway. And if you go there, you can leave a question down there. So far, nobody has, so uh, that's okay. But if you have got something specific you want me to ask Graham, then do put it in there. But yeah, anyway, fair enough. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do, I got a little bit of rewards from my uh, crypto.com earn feature where I've got quite a bit of Bitcoin in there. And uh, I've got like 123 bucks worth of Bitcoin. So I'm going to take it out of there put it into freeway, leave it there for a month and then withdraw it just to show you it can be done. Not entirely sure what it's going to prove because I've got quite a bit of Bitcoin in there already, uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now, the point being is when you want to buy a BTC supercharger, as they call them, which is the kind of staking product, uh, you'd normally go here to buy and then you put in the amount here. And it's quite weird because you put it in in dollars and then you kind of order it through there and you pay for it with Bitcoin or whatever crypto you want to pay for it with. Um, I prefer to use this option here where it says OTC trading available. Um, it's, it's slightly more crude, uh, but it does seem to be cheaper. So I just click that and go to buy OTC. And then you can just go to here, start, and you say, um, select your payment method. Well, I'm going to be paying with Bitcoin. And the supercharger I'm going to buy is the Bitcoin one. Now the amount I'm going to allocate is that much. Uh, do you want to buy another supercharger? No, I don't. Okay, so you have chosen to buy freeway superchargers using BTC. Please transfer allocated BTC to this address. Okay, so that's the address I want to do. So I'm going to go over to my crypto.com app and send that Bitcoin there. Okay, so the request from Gotcha First was that I deposit some crypto into Freeway, leave it there for a month and then withdraw it just to show it can be done. Okay, so I'm going to use this Bitcoin here. It's only $123 worth. This is currently in my crypto.com account and it's, um, it's some interest that I earned on a larger amount that I got paid today. You can see the earnings down there. Okay, so I'm just going to go transfer and I'm going to say withdraw external wallet. And I've already got the Orbit OTC address in there, so I'm going to send it to that maximum amount. Withdraw, confirm. And then I need the code sent to my phone and then I need the 2FA code okay 
that should do that okay it's been submitted now what I need to do here is I will need the transaction ID so I just go here to withdraw and then when that's completed there will be a transaction ID ID there so I'll come back then and that, that's what I need to send to freeway okay so I left that about half an hour or so and I've just got a email saying uh, the withdrawal was complete so if I look at that here you can see the address it was was withdrawn to and if I click this here that is the transaction hash that's what I'm going to use for the reply for the OTC email with freeway and I obviously need the amount as well okay so what you'll find after you've done the OTC thing is you get an email back that looks something like that and uh, it says you know uh, send the BTC to this address which we've done already and then uh, when you've got the transaction ID you basically reply with the transaction ID and the amount and this is how I replied I just said I've sent that much BTC to that address with transaction ID whatever and uh, that's it really if you get the amount slightly wrong it doesn't matter because they will adjust it at their end also at this point if you wanted to you could actually say something like can you take five percent of it and buy freeway token with it uh, I've done that before um, if you're going to do that I'd probably suggest you go slightly more than five percent because if the price of freeway token goes up a lot compared to Bitcoin then you want to make sure you've still got that five percent to get the maximum annual rewards on your assets okay so I sent that email at 11 23 in the morning on Friday the 29th of April so I'll see how long it takes to get a reply I think generally it's been about like four or five hours sometimes a bit slower at weekends so meanwhile my notice period is set on 30 days and this is actually due to finish tomorrow no today actually and this actually finishes finishes today so you can see here that it's still on 43 percent there but I think this finishes today so it says here freeway token staking inactive your freeway token is currently unstaked and you are missing out on annual rewards state your freeway token now to earn 15 to 30 percent estimated annual rewards for 30 days you cannot unstake or withdraw your freeway token during this 30 day staking period so i'm going to stake that for 30 days now okay so stake and lock so what i'll do i'll come back in 30 days and i'll just take that amount of bitcoin out in fact i might take more out than i put in just to prove you can do it so for now i'll just wait for the email to come back from freeway now that did take a little bit longer than it has done usually it was almost uh, about 20 hours which is a bit longer than it usually is i mean maybe that's because it's a holiday weekend i think it's labor day most of europe on monday so therefore it's a holiday weekend anyway so uh, what i've done i've i've uh, recorded the amount i've added uh, on my spreadsheet there and then over in here you know it's been added to my supercharger balance here so that's all good um, I did the other day I changed the freeway rewards I changed it to the gold supercharger because I wondered if that would actually create a supercharger that I didn't have and indeed that's what it did so I've actually now got like a, a gold supercharger with you know 10.7 10 dollars worth of uh, of gold in it uh, I think I'll change it there because I'm not really interested in gold. Uh, I think I'll probably change that to Bitcoin. In fact, I think I'll do that right now. So I'm just going to go to settings there and change that to Bitcoin. What the plan is is to wait 30 days and then uh, I will withdraw that and that will prove something. I mean, I know a lot of people are suspicious of freeway and it's because the percentages are really high. I think if it was 10%, no one would blink an eye and everyone just say oh it's just like celsius or crypto.com or uh, what's the other one uh, blockfi but because it's so high people question it but I, I honestly think they're really well doxxed and they've got this new office in athens that you know the public can go and see have a chat with them so to me i can't really see it being a scam or a ponzi hopefully i'll get the interview with graham and uh, we can iron out your worries I mean, with anything in life, I mean, everything you do, there's a, a risk versus a reward, isn't there? I don't know what would happen if the whole team went down in an air crash. I don't know how the company would survive. You know, I, I don't know these things. So as ever, do your own research and uh, make your own decisions. All I'm doing is just showing you what I'm doing. But meanwhile, what I'll do, I'll put a link to this uh, interview by Coach K, uh, which was on the 19th of March this year. 
and uh, uh, Joel, Coach K, he's he's got an astonishing amount in uh, in freeway. He's got three point five million in there, and uh, he's he's getting enormous rewards every day. And uh, he, he spoke to Graham, and they talked quite a lot about how freeway works and uh, what they're doing, and you know what happens to your money. And uh, I strongly suggest you watch that. And while you're over there, leave leave a leave a comment and uh, say that I sent you. That would be quite good. It'd be nice if Coach K knew about my channel as well. But as I say, you know, everything is a risk. I mean, I think even sort of holding Ethereum is a risk because if Vitalik Buterin gets a bullet in his head, then what's going to happen to the price of Ethereum? I think the only safe crypto you can have is probably Bitcoin on a ledger in a safe locked away from everybody. That is probably the safest way to keep crypto and be involved with crypto with minimal risk. Uh, but to me, that's just a little bit boring, really. And uh, it would be a terrible YouTube channel if I just showed you a picture of a safe every day, wouldn't it? Anyway, so if you've enjoyed that, uh, please give the video a like, uh, leave a nice comment, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you've got the notifications on all, and above all, tell your friends.